Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Della, and she is writing a number, and it's a mystery number. So the digit in the hundredths place is a four. The digit in the thousandths place is a seven. And the digit in the tenths place is a two. And look at the range of our numbers. We've got numbers that go all the way up to the hundred thousands and that are as small as the tens. So in order for us to build this, let's just go ahead and take this F, which seems to be our biggest number, and we're just going to use that as kind of our template. So it goes all the way up to the hundred thousands down to the hundredths. So let's build a place value chart. So I'm going to have my hundreds, thousands, all the way down to my hundredths. And let's go ahead and label these. So starting at the decimal moving left, we've got ones, tens, hundreds, and this is going to be our ones period. We don't really say that family name there, but then we've got our ones, we've got our tens, we've got our hundreds. Notice the pattern. It continues again and again, except this is our thousands period. So we will say our family name. We will say one thousands. Sometimes we'll just say thousands. Ten thousands, hundred thousands. And that pattern continues to the ones, tens, hundreds, millions, ones, tens, hundreds, billions. So over here, we've got, I'm going to go ahead and write these out. We've got the tenths, emphasis on the THS, and we've got the hundredths, so emphasis on the THS, hundredths. So if we take a look at our clues, it says the digit in the hundredths, so let's make sure we grab this THS, is a 4. So I can put a 4 right there. The digit in the thousands place, not the thousandths. Thousandths is something you get to in fifth grade. That's the third spot over from the decimal. Thousandths place is the seventh, so there's my one thousandths. So you normally we'll just say thousandths instead of one thousandths. And then the tenths is a two. And that's it. That's all the clues that we have. So now we've got all of these other numbers that we have to look at. So let's just start building them one at a time underneath. So I've got 537,106 and 24 hundredths. And take a look right there. We've got a 7 in the thousand spot. We've got a 2 in the tenths. We've got a 4 in the hundredths. So we could have our correct answer right away. Let's double check. G. So it has no decimal. So I can already tell you that that's going to be incorrect. We've got 17,420. So the problem with G is it does have a 7 in the thousand spot. So that's great. It's got nothing in the tenths, and it's got nothing in the hundredths, and it needs to have a 2 and a 4 in those two spots. So that's why G is incorrect. H. We've got 27,000. At least it goes to the hundredths place, so that's good. 389 and four hundredths. So if we're looking at what we're needing, we have a seven in the thousand. So they all have a seven in the thousands place. That's great. Doesn't really matter what any of those other digits are, but we've got a four in the hundredths. Here's our issue right here. It has a zero in the tenths. It should have a 2 in the tenths, so just that one little tiny digit makes H incorrect. And then 7, 70 and 24 hundredths, that's J. Well, I can tell you what the problem is right there, is we have the 2 in the tenths, that's great. We have the 4 in the hundredths, that's great. But look at my 7 is in the tens, not the thousands. They've got nothing in the thousands spot. So honestly, if you were to put like H and J together, you might be able to get a good number, but J is incorrect. And so our answer here is F.